Hello everyone. So today I'll be unveiling the Peralta 75 list. And let me just show you this cool animation that I was spent a couple of hours working on yesterday. But check that out. So the Peralta 75. After solving 650 lead code problems, reaching the top 0.5% of lead code users worldwide, and landing offers at Meta, Amazon, Bloomberg, and various Silicon Valley startups, I've decided to curate a list of questions that were pivotal in my algorithmic journey. No gotchas, no obscure tricks, just pure practical problems that will transform the way that you think about coding and prepare you for any technical interview. This is the promise of the Peralta 75 and I'll show you how I came up and curated this list and we'll just do a quick walkthrough and I will tell you why this list is a great list. So yeah, I built this page. You can access it at jamesperalta.com slash Peralta 75 and you'll get access, you'll have access to the Peralta 75 list. So how I actually came up with this list was I went on lead code. You can see I've solved 650 problems. I've solved pro problems in uh, on other accounts and other platforms. That's why I said 650 plus algorithmic questions. And you can see that solving this many questions puts you at, in the top 99.6% of lead code users. So this is based on problem solved. People might go on my account and be like, oh, you didn't do contests and things like that. I'm just saying 0.5% of, I'm the top 0.5% of lead code users based on what lead code is saying right there. I mean, um, yeah, in my coding journey, I've solved 180 easy, mostly mediums, 57 hards. And how I actually came up with this list is a very tedious process, but I literally spent between five to eight hours in one go, starting from the very first lead code question that I ever solved all the way to the most recent ones. So you can see that I started back in 2020. It's been over five years since I've been doing lead code and the lead coding industry or the lead coding questions have totally changed. When I started doing lead code in 2020, that's bl the blind 75 list was already out and it's still there. And don't get me wrong, the blind 75 list is still good, but this new list is an updated version. People aren't asking those blind 75 questions anymore. Honestly, some of them are too easy and been asked way too many times. I rarely get asked questions directly on the blind 75 list. So, all these interview questions that I have here are interview questions that I personally have been asked. I've interviewed in a ton of different companies. I probably did over 10, maybe over 15 on sites just myself. I've probably done over 30 coding interviews plus where I'm like, where someone's asking me a question. So these are all questions that I think that I've been asked. I've also been on the other side asking people, conducting interviews. I've done a hundred of those, not just on YouTube, but also in my different jobs. I've done so many different coding interviews. And these are all the questions that I think are actual questions that you will be asked based on conversations with my friends, based on what I've been asked, based on what I've had to ask people based on this big community that we built and the Discord channel where people are posting questions that they've been asked. These are real questions. And I think that's why I decided to compile them. And how I built it was literally going from the very first question that I did all the way down and picking off all of the really good questions. I tried to avoid questions that had weird tricks in order to solve it. And then the question just ended up being two lines of code. All of these questions are legit questions and there's no weird tricks to solving them. I think a lot of these questions really show off how good you are at data structures and algorithms. And I would make hiring decisions based on the success of a candidate, 
solving these questions. So that's why I decided to make this list, and that's a little bit of background on, on this list. These are I looked through 650 questions, clicked into them, looked at the answers, looked at the different various ways that you can solve them. I've been asked these, I've asked these questions, and yeah, that's a little bit about the list. So if you go in, if you go jamesprota.com slash prota75, you can click through the list. It You can expand. You can click on the checkbox once you solve it, and there's a progress bar there. There's also links directly on here that will take you to the question. And the way I group these is by data structure. So we I have it arrays, backtracking, link, backtracking dynamic programming, link lists, trees, graphs, design questions. These are grouped by the data structure that's being used or that you're operating on. I'm not I don't tell you what pattern you need to use to solve it. That's too much of a hint. I just want I'm just gonna give these are questions you're operating on array, a 2D array or a string. The algorithm might be different. The algorithm might be a two-pointer, it might be a sliding window, it might be a binary search, it might be, be a hash map, it might be a cyclic sort on the trees, it might be Dijkstra's, it might be Bellman Ford, it might be Union Find. There's so many different algorithms that you can come up with to solve these questions, but I just have it grouped up by arrays or by the data structure that you're operating on. So yeah, so you could see a lot of the questions are array questions because array questions have a lot of variance versus once you could solve a few tree questions or a few graph questions, you could pretty much solve all of them. So, but yeah, let's go through. We have array questions right here. You could see when you, when you start looking through these lists, let me show you the graph questions. These are not questions that you'll see in those typical lists, such as Blind 75, Unicode 150. These are questions that are very unique and I came across them and I thought they're really good questions. These are questions where if you look at some of these questions, they people in the description like the question. They say this is a good question, hopefully. Um, these are yeah, no weird tricks or anything like that. And you can see a lot of them are different than what you'll see in other lists. These are unique questions. That's why I think you'll have a lot of fun working through these questions because it gets boring to do the same old list over and over. That's why I need to come in and introduce this new Peralta 75 list. And one thing about this list is these you'll notice that these lists are the questions are might be a little bit harder than some of the blind 75 questions. Well, that's also to take into account some of the lead code inflation of people are required to be better at lead code than they were five years ago, even 10 years ago when they came out with cracking the coding interview. That's why they made cracking the coding edition two with harder questions because now the expectation is higher. There's way more resources to get better at lead code. There's more community to get better at lead code. People are starting earlier at getting better at lead code. So overall, people are better at data structures and algorithms than they were five years ago. And I, I predict that trend to keep going upwards. So this list is a harder set of questions, but I think it prepares you for this age of coding interviews. And I tried to just definitely remove all those weird tricks out of it. So yeah, have a look at the, at the list. I have, I have arrays and strings. I have backtracking and dynamic programming. I group these together because backtracking is the prerequisite to dynamic programming. If you can't do backtracking, you won't be able to solve dynamic programming because dynamic programming is just backtracking, but you add you add caching to avoid like following recursive recursive um, subtrees. So link list, classic trees and graphs. These are classic. One that I included that I really like is the design questions. These are more typical, or these are more typical in what you'll see in actual interviews. You'll be asked more, with a lot of startups, they ask these design questions where you have to design an in-memory file system, design an in-memory key value store, design an Excel, um, design a, a cache. You're, these are more what you'll see in interviews, but a lot of them actually build on patterns from some of the ones above. So yeah, have a look at this list. Let me know what you think of the list. This is a dynamic list right now because I want to get community feedback and I appreciate community feedback. 
So please tell me which questions you like. Maybe tell me which questions you don't like. I'll update this list. This will be a dynamic list for the next maybe few weeks, maybe a month. But at some point, it will become static. And this will be the list for the summer. So start grinding that lead code, start preparing, get better at data structures and algorithm, work through this list. It's an interesting list. It's my favorite questions on lead code. And yeah, um, I'll be asking people these in my coding interviews too. But hope you have a good rest of the day. Hope you enjoy the list. Please give me feedback down below. I'll be, I'll be linking it to the, to the YouTube video. I'll see you in the next video. Peralta 75 list is out now. Check it out.